Virgo, oh, extra, extra, read all about it. Virgo, this is all about you. Virgo, this is your uh, weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. So this is not a horoscope, it's an energy reading. So these are the general themes and energies surrounding Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Mars, Venus, Mer wherever Virgo influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies and themes for the next week or so. I do not put dates on the uh, videos anymore because people don't care about them. So I, I get it. They, the messages come to you when they're supposed to, but I do create a new video every single week for Virgo. So if you want my videos fresh off the press, please subscribe to my channel. It'll help the channel grow. And once you ring that bell, you'll get notified when I upload all the newest content. Um, this is the Oracle card spread of Virgos. So I also do an extended, uh, with that link is below. That's a full tarot card spread. And what that does is it articulates the energies that we pick up on in the uh, Oracle card reading. It, it brings out specifics, it answers those specific questions, um, and it personalizes the reading a lot more. And then you also get your romance reading in that reading as well. So that link is below Virgo, just so you know. Let's get into your freaking reading. Ooh, Virgo, look at it, it's all coming out the back already. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. You know, maybe you're trying to be a little bit coy about it, but not too coy. <laughs> I mean, you're not trying, you're not, you're not holding it or hiding it that much. The truth is that it's like, it's a little bit obvious just to let you know, you may think you'd be being slick, but you're not. People can tell, people can tell. Um, and it, listen, listen, you can be very, you can be slick. You can be very, very tricky and manipulative. So if you wanted to, I don't think you care. I really don't. I don't think that you're trying that hard to hide anything. That's what I'm trying to say. You're not, you're, you're, you're definitely using the back door, but you're not pussyfooting around. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay. So there's this energy here coming out nine. Something is coming to a head and it's your true feelings. This is Piscean energy, just swimming in the love, swimming. You're very, very comfortable or you're getting very comfortable with, with your feelings and maybe who you feel them for. Um, and this is a sense of, this is, this, it's a subtle energy. This is the energy that's crowning your reading of knowing how you feel and being comfortable with how you feel. There is always enough. There is this abundance. There's abundance of love. You're feeling very certain and secure with yourself and with how people feel about you. You're feeling extremely loved. And what this is doing is it's infusing you with a sense of courage that you may not have had before. So you you could be feeling less scared and less pressured and less stressed and less worried than you have been in a while. This is Piscean energy. This is energy swimming all around you. This is a sense of tapping into that psychic world where you can know things and feel things but not see things and just feeling really good, kind of going with the flow, you know, hanging out at the surface because Koi's always hang out at the surface, right? They're not like deep sea fish. They're curious little buggers. They they often like, you know, put the bubbles up to you, look, kind of look up. How many fish look up? They actually look up. They're curious little creatures. So in other words, you're aware something is swimming around and stirring in your emotions and it's very, very close to the surface. That's what I'm saying. It's like, you're, you're so comfortable at this point. Uh, you, you don't, you don't, you're not even trying to hide. You know, you're like, you're right there at the surface. You're not worried that somebody's going to try to harpoon you or put a spear in you. You're not worried. You are. You're not. You're very secure in your sense of, your sense of your space right now. Mm. Ooh. Oh, I just got this message. It came through and I'm going to say it to you right now. I knew I was right. I told you so. I had to say it. I told you so. And there's more Piscean energy that came right. Are you dealing with the fucking? Oh, oh sorry. Are you dealing with the Pisces, Virgo? What's going on? This is the energy of I told you so. Something that you knew psychically, something that you knew. This is father energy. Five plus three is eight. This is the energy of destiny, of understanding, of knowing, having foresight and knowing. I'm, I told you so. I knew that was going to happen. And you're feeling really good about yourself right now. You know, 
how much you love it when it happens. When you were telling people from miles away, oh, I know something's up, up. I know something's gonna happen, and it's all coming out now. Now it's all at the surface, and everybody else has seen it too. And you just sat back waiting all kinds of patiently like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And now it's happening. And then you're just like, I told you so. That's this energy of watch and wait. You couldn't wait for it to happen. You get some good news. It's some shady ass news though too. You know, it's like, that's what's going on, Virgo. I'm just trying to tell you, <laughs> just be real. It's, it's, it's kind of like, maybe you shouldn't be happy about this, but you are happy about this because hello, I told you they, that wasn't going to work out. Mm -hmm. I said it. I said it. I'm not even really subtle about it. I said it. <laughs> Nothing is wasted. This is taking out the trash, letting, letting the garbage go. Six plus three. You're not even trying to deal with things anymore. You're not even trying to look for things or find a way to use them anymore. You're not worried because you're surrounded by abundance and plentifulness and you're just taking the big old trash bags out. You just like throw it out. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to find a use for it anymore. I'm not trying to make things work anymore. I don't need to hold on. I don't need to pick through the trash pile to find a treasure. I've got plenty of treasure all around me. I'm not a scavenger anymore. I don't have to pick at scraps. So, mm. damn. Damn, Virgo. You are going serious. Come, You are like, you are like combat serious right now. The abundant universe will, what did I say? This is Taurus energy, the energy of mature, of feeling your abundance all around you, of really standing secure, standing proud, not worried. You're not worried about the toilet paper. You're not worried about the Purell. You're not worried because you got it. You, you probably, you probably hoarded it up too. You probably got all that in your basement and you know it. But this is the energy of knowing that you have what you need and feeling very, very strong and secure in the idea that the unit but this is more than that this is the universe just done provided the big old jackpot to you and it's got to do with emotionally it's got to do with i, I keep feeling this virgo vindication you're being vindicated i don't know if you're getting a settlement from your employer i don't know if you just found out that the guy the person who dumped you it just got their heart broken i don't know if you just found out somebody cheated on their wife and you tried to tell them it was something like literally this is hello vindication and you're just sitting pretty because this is not just this is not just material abundance, so you do, because this is Taurus energy. Financial abundance, you don't have to pick through the, you don't, you don't have to pick through the scraps. You have plenty. So you can be choosy. You, you can, you can get rid of that two week old pizza. You don't have to hold on to it and say, cause I know you can. You can sit there and dice that up like crazy and make sure that everybody eats for weeks, but you don't have to do it anymore. That's not your, that's not where you are anymore. You are on top of things. Now you're on the upswing. You don't need to pick through the trash heap. You got abundance. So you do have 3D and financial, but tangible abundance. But this is more, I'm telling you, this is about not only is the tangible abundance here, do you know what else is here? The emotional abundance. Something that you have been waiting for is now here. I don't know what it is yet. We won't get into that. That may come out also in the other reading, but it's here. Ooh, ooh, wolf energy. You're dealing with a Pisces. I can't, I don't, like, the, you have three Pisces energies all on this, all right here. And this is the Pisces of all Pisces because this is the moon card. This is you and your, your psyche. This is your id. This is your the your feelings, not just feelings, your your psychic, your intuition, knowing that something was coming, knowing and feeling it, and and almost in some ways praying for it, and it playing out of being able to see like foresight and see it and know it instinctually understand and know. Ooh, a light in the dark, a secret coming out. Energy of six plus seven, and it is is helping you. You feel very secure in it. This isn't like a scary energy. This is a grounding energy. This is being very, very certain of yourself um, and what you understood. And now you're just playing. 
this is like, oh no, I'm not, I'm not, you're not lost in the, in the water. You're not lost in the emotions. You're happy in the emotions. You're home here. This is the whale coming up out of the water and breaching. This is playtime. What did I say? The koi fish, this, I don't know. I know a whale's not a fish, I understand. But this is uh, floating really close to the surface. This is playtime. Feeling very, very secure that you're not vulnerable at all anymore. I don't know what just came in, a big old settlement or something? Oh, were you like the witness protection program or something and somebody just got caught, all right? They're in jail now and you're finally free. It's like, it's like somebody else is suffering. It's making you happy. <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean, but it's true. There's a sense of let them lose. Let them lose. Because with their loss, I win. And really feeling deserving of it. Be at home. Oh, maybe this is why you feel so damn good. You've been spending a lot of time at home. You've been able to focus a lot of your energy on the heart chakra space, on just the people that you love and be around the people that you love. And really feel connected to and be in the physical presence of the people that you love. And Virgo, there is nothing that fuels you or fills you up better than being around people that you absolutely, of being able to focus on your home and on your family. It really is where you thrive. And it's helping, you know, it's it's just helping you feel um, solid and balanced. That's what I'm feeling big time here. Six plus eight is uh, 14, five. Um, maybe even a change in the dynamic of your home space. Um, feeling strong and a little bit protective. Maybe you stood your ground with somebody. I do, I feel it. I feel you, you having stood your ground with somebody. And now... They're backing down, so you are free. There was a threat here, but whatever threat there was has been removed. Oh, time to heal. Kundalini energy. Oh, baby girl, damn. But this is this is definitely like like um, a snake in the grass. But like not, you know. It's it's. I would say this energy for you guys, fifty five ten is owning. Owning who you are, maybe even owning the darker side of yourself. And that's why you feel so balanced because you're like, that's me, uh-huh. You know, but this is definitely an energy of, of feeling your oats. That's what it is. Like you could feel this in your gut, in your groin area. That's how deep this satisfaction is hitting you. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um, life is a mystery. This was destiny. This was destiny. The unknown is not scaring you. It is in this, this unknown, this is the unknown card. So usually this is an energy of, or, oh, I just got it. You be stalking somebody or somebody's been watching you. The energy of, of keeping, no, no, no. You were keeping tabs and you were keeping an eye on, maybe from a distance, but you were keeping an eye on this situation, which is how you got the good news you got. I'm judging you. Ooh, because this is your grounding energy. So it's definitely energy that you feel secure in, that is intentional, and that you have control over the energy in your in your in this grounding spot. So you wasn't like you wasn't like you wasn't like telling every what did I say? You weren't telling everybody, but at the same time you weren't hiding it either. But you were literally keeping abreast of the situation. Um, and then you have, ooh, use your mind wisely, strategy. You might have even played a little games or done a little manipulation to make sure that this came to fruition. But this is when pigs fly. So in other words, you were watching from afar and from a hidden position, intuitively knowing that one of these days you were going to be really, really happy. And guess what? Now you saw it happen. You just see it, 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 the impossible just done come through. And you had a front row seat looking at your back door. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's still like you're hidden. 
but you you understood you saw this coming you saw this coming from a mile away time for a beginner mind Ooh, you a little prickly this is the energy of three eight plus four is twelve one plus two is equals to three what i say divine balance walking in there on your guard defending yourself protecting yourself but at the same time letting it shine let, letting letting your quills shine you like you're happy people see that you're bristling you're happy people see that you're vindictive you're happy that people see that you're going to get they're, they're going to get yours if they try to come for you they're going to get yours like you feel very secure in yourself and your ability to defend and protect yourself but more than that, you feel very secure in your right to do so. Because you're like, listen, I'm a little porcupine. I don't go trying to hunt things. I'm an herbivore. But you come for me and I'm more than happy to watch you ride in pain. Because you come for me. And that's the only time my quills come out. When you come for me, don't come for me. Then <laughs> we won't have a problem. You know what I'm saying? You're like... It's like somebody just gave you a reason to unleash your venom. And it's been building and coiling and you were just saving it for that time. You like, I knew I was going to get a chance. Bah! There you go. Hold on because I'm going to flip the camera around so you can see all the cards. It's interesting for Leo. I kept getting the, the I kept getting the song. I can feel it coming in the air at night, and I like that 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 feeling that something was coming. But for you, the I got this the, the same song but a different line, and I've been waiting for this moment for all my life. You know, what I'm, and that's this energy is you just witnessed something play out that you knew was coming. That you knew was coming and you have been preparing for this. Virgo, don't even play around. You have been preparing for this because you knew, you knew. Everybody said it couldn't happen. Everybody said it wouldn't happen. But you know what? It just, it just happened. And you was, oh, you like having your own little private party. You don't even, you don't even need to like, you're not inviting anybody to your own private party. But you're also not turning down the music. Right? Right? You're not broadcasting it on television, but you're letting your, the neighbors, uh, you know, hear the music go past 11. Like, you, you're not hiding the fact, you're not broadcasting the fact that you're celebrating this, but you're also not, you're not, hide, you're not, you're not hiding it either, right? You just feel really secure where you are right now. In other words, you just got the final puzzle to make your life feel so darn good. I can't wait to reveal exactly what the particulars are. Let's get into the particulars. Virgo, let's go. And we're going to do your reading, your romance reading as well. I'll see you guys. The link is below.